everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and today we have something completely different and so special for you guys. We're actually doing a collection tour, and not just any collection tour, a massive collection tour. Like, as you can see behind me, this is just a fragment of what Jared has, and Jared is actually Robin's husband, and if you watched Robin's collection video from the past September, which I can't believe has been so long, uh, she did mention that her husband collects not only just Transformers, but Gundams and lots of other toys. So we're going to start off by showing it by section, because he has all this bookcase is separated by grouping of what they are. So we're going to ask them a few questions as we tour the room, and I just want to give you guys an intro of what we're going to be doing today. All right, so we're going to go section by section, and his first section is, um, as you can see, this book casing right here, or floating shelves, I guess you could say. And what are they called, Jared? Macross. Macross. Many different series. Okay, and where are they from? Are they like US based, Japanese yeah, all based? Japanese. And did you purchase all these from Japan, or? Yeah. Wow. Mostly you have them in Japan. And is there any particular ones that are a little bit older or new? Are these all newer or older? They're all from within the last 10 years, mostly newer than that, probably uh, five years or so. Okay, because uh, just to kind of give you guys like a basic uh, like overview, like his collection's been growing for the past 20 years. So this isn't something that he just like woke up and just <laughs> you know, started buying them all like last week. So like he said, he's been doing these, this particular collection for the past 10 years. Are they based from like a TV show or are they based out of a... Yes. Okay. Um, Macross started in 1982 and it's had various spin-offs and stuff up until, uh, I think the last one was 2010, 2008, something like that. Oh wow. And that's where these come from. So they, are they still currently making them, or? There's, there's no current TV show, but they are still currently producing. Bandai is, at least. Awesome. And a new company called Arcadia. Hmm. So if you guys are interested in these, definitely check them out. Cool. And I guess we'll go to the next bookcasing, or next, I guess, floating shelf area. And what are these called? Those are all my Master Grade Gundams. All kits I put together and painted. Oh, so these are actually like hand-painted ones. So the last shelf that we're looking at, did you paint all these too? Nope, those are okay. toys. Okay, so first shelf is all pre-made stuff, or stuff that you can like transform. And then these are all ones that you actually hand-painted. So comment below and like for awesome hand-painting by Jared, because that looks, <laughs> I have not even tried customizing any of my dolls, because like, well, some of them, just because I can't paint their eyes. Like, I complain about that, but look at this. <laughs> so as you can see, he's really super talented at this. And how old are these? Um, some are a few months old, some are 10 years old again. Uh, well, most of those are newer, probably from the last five years. Once I started actually really getting into painting them and stuff, the older ones they don't really display anymore. These are really cute. Cool, and let's see what I got here. Moving the light around. And what is on the third shelf? Continuing Gundam. The smaller, the high grades and stuff, most of those are just snapped together. I don't put as much effort into them because they cost a lot less and just don't feel like putting the effort into it. <laughs> and you said those aren't hand painted? Deta only details. All are, they're just snapped together though. Hmm. They're more they're more for fun than for... And when you paint them, anything. do you paint them like the way you want to see them or the way that they are in the show? Oh, I like the, I like the default colors, so like, they, oh, like okay. they're supposed to look. Sometimes I'll paint custom color schemes, but usually not. All right, and then let's see. I'll we'll wait for Chase to get the last <laughs> shelving. There's so many; they're everywhere. All right, and going on to the fourth shelf now. <laughs> Those are awesome. Just all kinds of random, various. There's no organization here. It's Everything that didn't go, and I don't have enough to fill a, fill a whole bookcase or a whole area with, it's all it's all here. What's the so, top two? So we got Power Rangers up top, uh, some Getter Robo, Kamen Rider down below that, uh, Mospita, and a whole bunch of other random stuff. See some Mega Man over here? Yeah, yeah they're hiding in there too. Mega Man. And these are all... Painted, not painted? Mostly toys. Mostly just toys. Okay. The third shelf down are, are some painted. They're little, little tiny model tubes. And at the very, very bottom are very old GoBots, my tiny minuscule GoBot collection. 
<laughs> oh, the little ones to the left? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's where the Transformers rivals back in the early mid 80s. Oh, really? So they didn't take off? <laughs> uh, they they kind of, you know, they're, they were there. The next shelf is uh, Brave Robots and various Soul of Chogokin. Big, expensive, heavy, die cast Japanese stuff. Oh, those are all metal, not plastic ones. Oh. Combination, but they have a lot of die cast in them. I like all the massive swords these all have. <laughs> like, it's a staple for Japanese NECA. They're like, let's have a huge sword. These are full. Cool. Well, to destroy other robots, you need a big sword. Yeah. <laughs> are these all TV show based or yes. just random robots? Okay. Right. You know, various anime and all that kind of stuff. One or two are from a game, but most most from anime. Cool. And these are all 10 years old, 20 years old? No, nah, newer. Oh, these are all new? Okay. Ten, 10 years are newer for that stuff. Everything so far has been new. The old stuff doesn't get till the next side. You see some Escaflone and some uh, Evangelion down here, too. Yeah, we got a few of those. Okay, now these have a lot of colors and a lot of stuff going on, but they look awesome. So what are these? This this starts the beginning of my Transformer collection, which is what the focus of most of my stuff is. What you're seeing right now is most of the original G1 stuff. I don't have a lot, but I do have quite a bit. And how old are the G1s? Like, when did that even start? 1984. Okay. And I have some actual 30-year-old toys in there. Most of them are the newer reissues, though, just because they were in far better condition than my originals. Mm. And these are all toys, not sense. painted yep. ones, right? So From here on out, it's all toys. Okay, There's so a few all... custom pieces thrown in there, but not, not whole shells or anything. Do you have any customs that we can film and stuff? Or is everything that you have custom-wise, like, no, yeah. sold? Or... No, nope, I've got a few mixed in here. Okay. Because Jared does a really great job on customizing and painting and, like, making his own Transformers, which is really, really awesome. So you guys have to think about that these came out in 1984, so way before some of our even viewers were born. <laughs> uh, before I was born. <laughs> oh yes. Before... But that, that's all for the old stuff. Now we're moving into the Masterpiece Transformers. Some are official Hasbro, some are not. So this is a combination of like Japan and US or all US? All, all Japanese. Okay. For the Masterpiece stuff. And uh, this Skywarp here, this is a full custom job. Oh, really? He was uh, he was Thundercracker, the blue one in the back. Oh, until that's I so cool. uh, took my airbrush to it. But you also use hand you also use hand brushes, but you don't do Occasionally for small details, but there's nothing nothing beats an airbrush finish. And then just continue with lots of more transformers. <laughs> <laughs> From all kinds of very series eras and everything. How many shelves are we on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> we are on shelf number eight for the people who are keeping a shelf counter on online. <laughs> and you'll see a few shelves that aren't quite uh, set up still. The ones I care about are up. Everything else is just thrown on a shelf. But I like the variety of Transformers. Though. Like I like how there's a couple girl ones I see. Like the <laughs> pink ones, those are so cute. They should make a Monster High Transformer. <laughs> it's like... Like Dracula's Roadster turns into Draculaura. They <laughs> made Marvel Transformers. Yeah, they are. They're oh yeah. yeah. Star Wars. Oh yeah, and no, I remember seeing the Star Wars one. Those are kind of cool. So they're not just cars. <laughs> it's like you can transform into anything. Stuff. Yeah. Do they transform like? I know it's cars. Like obviously Star Wars and like but Marvel. Like do they do other? Like what other things do they do? Like robot? Like I don't know what they. Kind of think it's of what they all do. Transformers characters are, are really just their own thing. Yeah. That big gold one at the top looks really cool. A lot of purple on the shelf. Do you have like, so when you do organize them, do you do them by color? Or no, by, by faction. Autobots okay. versus Decepticons, good guys and bad guys. Okay. Actually, yeah. Yeah, that's really important to a lot of collectors. Like a lot of people say like, oh, do you do it by release date? Do you do it nah. by color? Do you do it by character? Too confusing. Yeah. So good, good guys and bad guys. That's always a good way to kind of Organize it. <laughs> All right, in your shelf number nine. <laughs> cool, and then let's see. Let me see, I gotta, thanks for being patient with us, you guys. I gotta rotate the light every time Chase goes to a new shelving. So let me start rotating the light over. Sorry, Jared, I'm gonna take a 
under the couch. Alright, so shelf number, what about here? Ten. Ten. And these are just more... More Transformers, that's the whole rest of the, <laughs> the rest of everything. So like if you had a guess, do you have more Transformers or more Gundams? I would think Oh, absolutely Transformers. more Transformers, yeah. Have Trans you ever counted them? Nope. Chase, point the mic over here. <laughs> Alright, so he has not counted them. So if you guys want to take a guess at home how many he has. <laughs> but I won't count them to find out. I know, so. I was going to say, <laughs> we should do a contest. Like who can count and see who has the, who gets the closest? Like well, you can guess. The jars and the, counting the jelly beans in the jar. I know, same, same thing, same thing. Well, you can kind of count as five, six shells per bookcase. An average of, uh, I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't know how many's on each shelf. Some have 10, some have 30. You have to have at least 2,000. No, I think, yeah, our guess is about 2,000. We could be wrong. <laughs> so what do we got here on the top? Some unbuilt ones? Like, do you like leave them in car form? Uh, no, it was just one day I was bored. I hadn't seen them in car mode for a long time, so I transformed them, then didn't put them back in the robot mode. Yet. So now we're getting towards some of the newer stuff, movie themed from the live action movies and uh, the most recent cartoon series. Okay, so these are probably like six years, seven years old and stuff. When was, the, when was the movie start? I didn't even remember. The movie started in 2007. Oh, okay, so not that long. So eight years, yeah. So that's from the most recent TV show that ended about two years ago. Uh. <coughs> Comment below, you guys. Like, are you guys big Transformer fans? Do you guys like Transformers or Gundams more? <laughs> As you can see, Jared loves both, but from what, how many we've seen, There's Transformers no right are answer. winning. <laughs> there, oh yeah, I agree. There is no right answer. They're both awesome. What we got down there? Is it just a just stuff I've never put up since the move? It's just a, <laughs> a pile of Transformers. Okay. Whoa! What are these epic two big on the top? These are cool. Uh, two Optimus Primes from the movie. Were they like Toys R Us exclusive, store exclusives, nope. or from Japan? No, just US ones. Are those uh, by Hasbro or? The one on the left is the one on the right's by a third party. It's made by it's an unofficial kit. Oh. So it's not made by Hasbro or Takara. So you don't care. You buy whatever you like, right? Mm -hmm. You don't care if it's a brand or anything. That's right. Because I know some people prefer like real. They don't want fakies. Like they don't care. So it's like. No, I would uh, I, I would miss be missing a large chunk of my collection if I. Uh, only bought official Hasbro. What do you like better? I don't have a preference. Mm -hmm. Whatever gives me what I'm what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm the same way with a lot of like my dolls, and I think a lot of people feel that same way. Like if you like something, you just buy it. Yep. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter if it's real or not. Like, cause I've bought fake stuff, and I'm like, well, if it's pretty, it doesn't matter. And then we're on the last shelf, which is what thirteen? Thirteen shelves, <laughs> I think. I think we're on thirteen. <laughs> The very last shelf that he's about to get to is just kind of random stuff. Beast Wars, uh... Oh, Beast Wars! Robots. I remember Beast Wars. Most of my Beast Wars are still in the box on the bottom shelf, just because, again, you never got around to putting them out. The top shelf is some Japanese leaders. So the top shelf is Beast Wars, right? Yeah. Those are cool. And the second shelf is, too. I remember that show. <laughs> I, watch, I think Beast Wars is actually on Netflix if you want to watch it. It is. I remember watching it back in middle school on Toonami when it used to be good. I know, I remember that. And then Cartoon Network went downhill. Everyone's going to be throwing hate on Chase for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree. I like the old school stuff. I don't really keep up with a lot of the new school Cartoon Network stuff, but but definitely an epic collection, as you guys can see. So as always, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure to like all those social medias. We will try to keep up with those as much as I can. Hello, here's me behind the light. I don't know if you guys can see me. Hey. So I hope the sound came out good. I hope the light came out good. Again, I really apologize. We were trying to like move around in the room. Um, and again, a big special thanks to Jared and Robin for letting us come to their house and show off Jared's epic, epic room tour slash toy collection because the whole room is toys. So as always, make sure to subscribe. We post videos every day. And again, big thanks to Jared. And comment below, what do you guys like? What was something that you saw that really popped out and stood out to you guys?